Hey, what's up everybody? Thanks for checking out the Pixel Lab. I have a quick tip for you today based on XRefs. So let's go ahead and open up a volleyball. Let's say that you wanted to do some dynamic simulation with this guy. The problem with that is it's a little bit higher poly and it's going to really bog down when you start doing dynamics. So let's go ahead and use XRefs and a little feature that will make it a lot easier. So what we're going to do is save this object out. We'll save this as volleyball. And then we're going to make a proxy object. And this is a low poly uh, representation of your object. So let's go ahead and drag a sphere into the volleyball. And then I have a reset PSR value button. Let's go ahead and click on that. It will put the sphere right in the middle of that volleyball. And then we're just going to scale it up so it's about the same size. Something like that. And we'll delete the volleyball. Now we're going to go ahead and save this out. We'll call this volleyball proxy. And now we're all set. So we have a new scene. Now we need to add our XREF. Let's go ahead and go to create at the top, go to XREF and then add XREF. And we're going to go ahead and load up the volleyball and you'll see we have this XREF object over here. And now what we're going to do is go ahead and put in a MoGraph cloner. Now let's say we wanted to put a uh, simulation tag, rigid body, start messing around with a lot of the settings. The problem with this is if we put the volleyball in here, it's going to be very, very slow. It's probably going to break our computer. So what we're going to do is look at that extra file and check out this proxy ref slot. Let's go ahead and open up our proxy volleyball. And now is where it gets really handy. We have this exchange with proxy button. All we have to do is click that and it's going to replace that volleyball with whatever's in the proxy slot. So we can just toggle between them back and forth really easily. So now what we can do is put this in the cloner and everything's going to be extremely responsive. We're going to go ahead and play with all the dynamics. You can see it's fully dynamic. And we'll be able to experiment a lot with the dynamics, which we would not be able to do if we had the volleyball. So once we're done, all we have to do is click this button to exchange it. Now, sometimes that will um, cause your computer to freeze. So what I found is that if you drag the volleyball out and then click the exchange with main button and then put it back in, a lot of times your computer will be a lot happier. So now I'm not even going to hit play, but if I did, um, it would be extremely slow. But since we've already set up all the dynamics and everything with our proxy, you can just render this out and everything will be perfect. So I hope that helps. Uh, definitely saves you a lot of time and frustration when dealing with dynamics. Hope that uh, you learned something new. Thanks for checking out the Pixel Lab and we'll talk to you next time. Bye.